Thanks for joining me for Enneagram 8, where I've paired Enneagram 8, the challenger or the leader, with Warrior 2. What better pose for that leader, that challenger who's ready to take on anything to get what they want. Now you can also, uh, as we get into this pose, think about the stability of it, the groundedness. Now this warrior is totally fine with conflict. They're gonna do what they need to do to get what they want in life or to fight for the justice, the cause of their choice. Separate your feet pretty wide and then take your left toes to point to the edge of your mat and your right foot either parallel to the back of your mat or a slight diagonal. You're standing again on that straight line, maybe more or less left heel to right arch. Extend your arms to a T. Notice how your shoulders are over your hips and they're facing the side. And then as you exhale, bend into your left knee. You might need to readjust the feet. You don't want to get to a place where your knee juts out way over your toes. You're keeping your shoulders over your hips. Maybe you flip your palms up, but the gaze in this posture is over that front hand. Imagine yourself with a sword in this hand, ready for anything that comes to oppose you. You can take it on as the eight. You can challenge and you can hold your own. You're comfortable in a challenge. You're grounded in it. You're ready for it. Inhale, left leg straightens and just switch your toes. So the right toes face the edge of your mat, left foot in that diagonal. Feeling yourself settle in. Another part of this to consider is that though your gaze and your energy are moving forward, ready to face what's coming at you, your heart is not facing toward anyone. You are keeping that protected and shielded from the person, the opponent who's coming your way. So that's something about the eight to that feeling repression. Uh, I'm going to get what I want. I'm going to move forward and make it happen but I'm going to protect and not be too vulnerable. So there you have it. Warrior two for the eight, a nice stable, challenging leader. Sometimes maybe too bold, <laughs> but they have a way of fighting for justice and standing up sometimes for the least among us. So something to remember, warrior two with the eights. I'll see you for nine.